If bamboo is already spread on your property or in your garden, then it's too late for preventative measures and you need to figure out how to remove the bamboo. So the best way to remove bamboo is first by cutting it down to ground level, um, and then you need to figure out how to remove the rhizomes and root material. Um, just cutting bamboo down to ground level alone will not help. It will grow back very quickly and will soon be the same size uh, as it was before being cut down. So to remove the rhizomes and to remove the roots, uh, they can be dug out of the ground. This is a uh, labor intensive method. Um, if it's a small patch, then digging out the roots uh, is effective. Um, and it can be done with a pickaxe or a shovel. Um, if it's a large patch, an excavator can be used um, or a bobcat uh, to dig out uh, all of that root material. Um, but if your bamboo is next to a patio or next to a deck or a different structure, um, then an excavator might not be able to be used. Um, so in a situation like this, a herbicide can be used. Um, a herbicide is also a, a good method for a very, very large patch of bamboo. Um, if you're using a herbicide, you want to get a certified herbicide applicator to apply the herbicide, or at the very least, you want to follow the instructions on the bottle and make sure that it's legal to apply herbicide in your municipality. So here at Ascent Yard Care, we are uh, certified for herbicide application. And the way that we use herbicide to remove bamboo is we first cut all of the bamboo down to ground level. We wait for the bamboo to grow back until it's about six inches tall or a foot tall. And then we apply the herbicide to that new growth that's coming back. That herbicide is then absorbed by the leaves. It spreads throughout the root system of the plant and it will kill the plant. Uh, sometimes it takes a couple of applications to completely kill bamboo with herbicide, but uh, with, with two or three applications, in the worst cases, the bamboo uh, will become completely dead uh, after the herbicide application. And we choose to cut the bamboo down first, wait for it to grow back, and then spray it then. Uh, that's what we find to be most effective, and it also uh, means that we have to use the least amount of herbicide uh, for, for it to be effective. Um, because we're spraying that new growth, uh, it absorbs the herbicide very, very well. A single bamboo plant can spread into a patch containing thousands of stems and covering a large area of land. Bamboo spreads underground very quickly, and it produces very resilient growth and a very resilient root system uh, that will come back and continue regrowing even, with even if you cut it back regularly. So it's very important to stay on top of bamboo and remove it if it's becoming a problem. Now you might be wondering how much does it cost to get professional bamboo removal done? And each patch is unique. Um, so here at Ascent Yard Care, we send one of our technicians for an in-person meeting to have a look at the patch and they'll provide you with a detailed quote of exactly what will be done to remove the patch and how much it will cost. Uh, and with the way that we price our, our bamboo removal projects is with a fixed price. So you know that for a certain price, it will all be done and you will no longer have to worry about the bamboo coming back.